with truck drivers leaving the industry and the economy expanding, it is creating a shortage of drivers across the country. I had the privilege of speaking with a local trucking academy about enrollment trends and what goes into getting your commercial driver's license. When you see trucks on the road, that means the things that you need are being moved. But before they go out there, they have to come through here, go through the cones and the classroom instruction. Recent reports show that the trucking industry could need more than a million drivers over the next 10 years. That creates opportunities for people like Latasha Pearson. She just passed her commercial driving test and received her CDL license. I passed. I got my CDL today. Um, I've been lucky to find this school. I went to one other school and I wasn't so lucky there, but when I came here, it was like family. They taught me everything I need to know about truck driving. In addition to walk-ins, job seekers are referred to Commercial Driver Academy by SC Works. The owner says their enrollment has increased nearly 500% this year alone. Finding a reputable truck driving school is vital. One of the signs that I would recommend is um, checking the reviews of the school, um, maybe companies that work with the school, give them a call and see what their experience was like with their previous uh, students. Industry officials say driving schools should teach the basics. Students should learn about all aspects of the truck, its engine, movable parts, and how to maneuver on the open road. After passing and receiving a commercial driver's license, the company you work for should continue that training and connect the driver with a mentor. When I came here that first week, it was, it was real rough. They just they threw you out there. They taught us. They put our hands on everything. And when it, once it got the stick, the wheels start turning, I was, I was good to go. Much of the nation's $23 trillion economy depends on 18-wheelers. Some businesses who are looking for drivers even offer tuition reimbursement for those new drivers. Pay has increased over the years, along with many more benefits. I have some of the instructors that work here um, that are a little old, old school. They started as low as 22 cents a mile. Right now, their trucking companies start at 55 cents a mile. If it wasn't for a trucker, you couldn't get no supplies, no nothing. So it, I mean, they're needed, and there's a shortage of them. And, and you need the training, most importantly. Just make sure you, you get the appropriate training, you come to the appropriate school so that you can be safe. The industry continues to grow and change, and if you think trucking is a man's job, more women and minorities have applied in recent years than ever before. Reporting from Duncan, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. Pretty cool to talk to all of them. Well, recent reports show that more than 80,000 truck drivers are needed to help fix the supply chain shortage.